Nope, hey YouTube, we're here with our 2013 Yu-Gi-Oh! Dragon Duel Champion. What is your name? Uh, uh, Oliver Tomiko. Any fun in the U.S. U.S. Yep, USA. This is his little brother. And what deck were you playing? Uh, Dragon Rulers. And why did you choose this deck? Uh, I played it for the Nationals, and I really like how it uh, works. It's just my kind of style. Okay. Uh, you want to show it to us? Oh uh, yeah. Uh, three Tempest, three Title, three Blaster, and three Redox, and then two Lightning, two Stream, and two Burn, and two. Uh, wreck them. Uh, some people play one lightning, but I don't think I, I don't like that because I want to have as many dragons as I can so I can summon all of this. But in the mirror match, I sat out one of each of these because it's not as important. So, yeah, 20 dragons. Three Maxi and three Valor. I play uh, two Droll because I, it's mainly thanks to uh, my. Fr this is my fr pretty much my friend's uh, my friend Phil Pena. He topped my, uh, top 64 nationals with this. Uh, I think this is almost exactly. Uh, and these are just. I wasn't playing these at nationals, but they're really good because they stop prophecies. Like usually, just my plan against prophecies is if I draw this, I draw them and then I kill them. <laughs> and against dragons. Uh, you can uh, sometimes if you read a super juke, you can uh, stop that if they search, and it also stops uh, sword and maxi. And then well, this is a lot of hand traps. Did it ever clump up on you? I also play scarecrow. Oh wow! Did it ever clump up on you like dead draws, or it was just like it worked? Um, against spell books, it's kind of dead. Like I side all of these out and just leave the drolls. But against spell books, like these can do something because it stops the magician. That can kind of go one for one on the judgment day. That's amazing against them. And then this, if sometimes they like uh, use power and then masters it and try and go for game, and then you just have that. Or you can use that as an earth with redox. But they didn't really clump up. Like in the dragon matchup, I'd be fine opening like three of that and three of that, I guess. Like they're just really good in the dragon matchup. Oh. We can do it outside, I guess. Okay. Uh, guys, we'll be right back. Hey guys, we had to move rooms. Uh, oh, sorry. Sorry, guys, we had to move rooms, but here's he's going to finish the deck profile. Okay. And then uh, my last monster is a Corsesco. Uh, this is really good. I like it more than the... I like it more than the fire one because uh, the fire one helps OTK. And this one you can use with the wind to search, so it helps with Raju. And it actually, I beat over a Jaugen today with it, so it's definitely better than. Um, Flame Veil Guard? Yeah. Uh, for spells, three Super Raju because it's the most powerful card in the main deck. Uh, if you draw it with dragons, it's really, like, it's almost free win usually. Uh, three swords. Uh, sword was really good. I didn't draw it that much, surprisingly, but whenever I drew it, it made my hand just a lot better. Uh, then I play. Yes, he didn't cut Dark, Dark Hole. Oh, yes. Told you, Dark Hole. Yeah. Dark Hole's really good. It just lets, like, it's you need to kill them. Uh, a lot of players, some like, it's really good against spell books because it clears the field, like the Jaugen and the Kaiku. And against um, dragons, you can get a Redox out of the way and then kill them. Uh, heavy Storm, because it's a free win against spell books most of the time. Book. Uh, I I was really scared of Lad going into this event, and I didn't cut the drolls from my deck to play an Eclipse Wyvern and a Lad because I needed more cards to side out for the mirror match. So this helps stop Lad, and it also beats Scarecrow, and it's just good. It's good against spell books and card destruction. I I think I drew this once or twice the whole tournament, but uh, it's it's one of the best cards in the deck. But uh, like if you have a hand of this and five dragons, it's it gives you like two extra hands pretty much and then my trap card uh treacherous trap, trap hole. hole uh this card is just really good uh against dragons it's like the same as emptiness in a way because uh with emptiness like sometimes they can actually get a plus on you if they uh bait it on purpose and then they blaster a monster and this um it was uh, also, I had a chance of being Regeki Break, but against dragons, it's like the same thing, because most of the, uh, you kill two monsters that usually would exceed or synchro. And then against spellbooks, it's better than uh, Regeki Break, because uh, you don't want them to have any monsters ever, so they can fate. So this was really good. Do you want the side an extra? Ah, uh, sure. Are okay. you okay with that? And you, would you change anything in the main deck? Um, no, I don't think so. No. It was really good. Uh, three Draco Sacks. 
uh, obviously, two big guys. Uh, I didn't think about playing three. It never came up, although I made it more than I normally did this weekend. Uh, guy Charger, uh, I don't know if I made this, but it's, it's important because when you go into time or when they're at 26 or 52 life, you make that or a beret. Um, Abyskaios, um, I didn't make him, but every so often you have the chance if you have Temple, Tempest and Tidal, and he's just, he's like a win condition in the mirror match. So those are the exceeds, and then Armory Arm, never made it. Interesting Wyvern, uh, this card's really good, because it just, it lets you OTK really, really easily. Uh, Beret, I didn't make him, but he's a 2600, and... Uh, you can switch the battle positions of stuff and then uh, beat over for like game. And uh, there's a, supposed to be a black in here, but I borrowed it from the judge because okay. mine had an altered art on it and they wouldn't let me use it, so they took that. Uh, Thought Roller, it's really good if you play it against any rogue deck, and it can help you get out of like uh, range of death against like anything really. I didn't summon it against dragons, but I did it against small books. Colossal Fighter, this is the best card in the entire deck. Uh, it allows Deck Devi, uh, it allows you to really play Deck Devi, and it also, it's so hard to kill, like with a Baylor in hand, and it's just, it's insane. Uh, Thought Roll, and they're both darks for Deck Devi, so that's important. Scrap Dragon, it, it was really good this weekend. It helped me OTK, and then I never got Crimson Blader off, but sometimes you needed to draw out a Baylor. Although, uh, Scrap Dragon usually draws out a Baylor, too. Alright, so pretty solid um, extra deck. And your side deck? Uh, yeah. Tusi Kiyomi, uh, this card's really, it just destroys the spell matchup, as like I think it did in the finals, too. Uh, so, that was important. Uh, two Scarecrows. After side deck, you want to have as many Scarecrows as you can against Dragons because this card just wins the mirror match most of the time. Um, three MST. MST was important for spell books, and I brought in one or two in the mirror match, depending if I saw like emptiness and stuff. Vortex uh, for spell books. I didn't play last day because I knew uh, there was a player for in. Uh, I don't know where he's from actually, but he was playing stun, and I didn't. I wanted that for like ja uh, whatever they play, like, uh, Boss of Dynamite, Kaiku, and Thunder King. Uh, three DNA. Uh, this was like a last minute thing. I got it like the week before and I did a little testing. But if you ever opened it first turn, you usually won right away. And if you just played it later, it still uh, usually won you the game. Because they just can't kill you with it when it's on the field. Uh, two emptiness. Um, I played this because a friend told me. He, Basically, like, in all the U.S. team was saying how amazing this card is, but I really don't like it that much, and I probably would go down to one, because I brought in one most of the time, because I can only cut seven cards out of my main deck, so sometimes I needed to bring in a second MST, or there was a player maining a Virus, so I didn't want to bring in these, because I know there's probably going to be more after side deck. And then the best card in the side deck, that just, uh, when I played it, it won me the game, uh, Deck Devi. This card is insane because, like, if you go first turn Colossal Fighter and that, they usually can't, don't try and kill you. They might go, uh, Draco Sack, pop the Colossal, and you chain this, hit their token and all their hand traps, so next turn you can either OTK them, or you can make Crimson Blader and attack over the thing and Crimson lock them out. So this card was, like, the best card ever. And, um, I know the number one question people are going to ask, why no Eradicator? Um, I was playing Eradicator when the deck first came out, and I was playing three, but I don't. I think I resolved it about once. And, and when I was playtesting for Nats uh, against a, with a friend, uh, I resolved it twice in like ten uh, ten matches, and I lost one of those games because he got a Jaugen and he had traps, and he had a Kaiku on the field. So. So you like your choices better, like DNA surgery yeah. and everything else. Uh, I didn't draw DNA surgery against Spellbooks, mm -hmm. but when it was in testing, it yeah. was just it was really good. And did you like your side deck okay? Oh uh, yeah, it, it worked out pretty nicely. Alright, and uh, one more question. Did you play against all Spellbooks and Dragons? I played against, uh, round one I played Spellbooks, and then uh, I played all Dragons, and then top four I played against Spellbooks. And I went undefeated, and I went 14-2 and two in games, so the deck uh, performed really well. All right, and do you want to thank anybody or give any shout-outs? Uh, yeah, uh, shout-out to my friends Andrew Poller and Phil Pena. Uh, they came down to my house like three times, and they helped me make this deck, and they tested a lot, and it just it helped. All right, and what's your YouTube again? Uh, Goyo379. Okay, we'll have it in the description. Thank you so much, Oliver. Congratulations. Thank you. Bye.